previously on Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Oh no, the door closed. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. There was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? You know there's another door behind that bookcase, right? You you showed it to me. It's probably fucking inside. We quickly walked toward the moving bookcase, and then not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw. Oh oh shit! Someone's dead. Oh shit! <gasps> uh, uh, what? Oh fuck, Rantaro. Oh shit. Oh well. <laughs> okay, minus like the pool of pink blood, he kind of just looks like he's taking a nap on the floor. He's like, Nah, I'm sleepy. Don't worry about me. Ranto or mommy, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. Well, that's unfortunate. Luckily, we have cameras. Damn. I didn't know where they were going to go that direction. Not Rantaro and Mommy. I never got to meet his Amami. Rantaro? Well, shit. What in the world? What the hell is going on? <laughs> well, I can only assume that he's dead. <laughs> or taking a nap. He wakes up. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Oh shit, did I spill my jam? Fuck. Right after Tanko screamed, the front door of the library burst open. And the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What, what happened? Why did you scream? Huh? Ah! <laughs> blood! So much blood! Yeah. Oh me, oh my. Uh, even that grand Taro? <laughs> What's wrong with him? You don't know? He's dead. Yeah, no shit, Maki. You know, I'm so glad that you're here. Huh? What? Well, he's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. This girl is high off her ass. But how? How can he be so calm? I'm so high. I don't even know what's real. Shuichi- <laughs> Wrong voice. Shuichi examined Rantaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too light. He shook his head. No way. Too, too late. You mean, dead? Are you serious? <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, I thought we already, like, figured that out. My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? I don't know, bro. He was suspicious as fuck. The, the entire game that we've known him for, I mean, it's only like a few hours. But he was like, ah, I'm gonna end the killing game, blah, blah, blah. Like, there was nothing, there was no part of him that indicated that he was trustworthy in any way. And... Did I miss something? The monitor is off. Oh yeah, okay, no, I'm good. Who is no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was... This means the killing game has started, huh? huh? Why does she look so happy about that? I don't trust Maki. Or Maki, or whatever. What? Not only because she insulted us earlier. K killing game? And someone killed Rantaro and- uh, Wait, maybe not. Get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, 
Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? I know that for sure. What? The mastermind? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead... Ding dong dong ding. Oh wait, huh? what? What happened to the ding dong ding bong? What? What's a up, dude? Body has been discovered. Yep. Clearly. Everyone, please gather in the library. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, I'm glad. What a relief! Murder took place just before time ran out. Huh? Uh, Monokuma, but how? <laughs> I gotta admit, I was getting a little nervous there, because the killing game hadn't started yet. Come on. Gee, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. Uh, how? The mastermind controlling you is... Huh? Huh? <laughs> By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? <laughs> do you think it was Rantaro? Oh, <laughs> what of an imagination, of course that's wrong. If the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. That's wrong. <laughs> but... The victim was Rantaro and Mommy. The ultimate... Who gives a fuck? I don't know. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Uh... Shuichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? Uh, nothing. No trial. N no. That's what he said. No trial. We can move on to the next killing. He, Monokuma is wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? You know, if Rantaro's the mastermind and he's dead on the ground... Well, okay, I was gonna say that, but Junko ended up being the mastermind. But that wasn't actually Junko. That was Junko's sister. So maybe Rantaro has a brother? Named... Waktaro. <laughs> Waktaro Amami. Huh? The ultimate walker. Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookings. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use that hidden door and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, um... Why... why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Shuichi? Ah! Oh. Huh, the pictures! We can check the pictures! I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue! But that mine went! The library door swung open! And it shattered the cameras! <coughs> yeah! Oh no! Rantaro, but why? Really? <laughs> That's Rantaro? Oh, thank god! I thought it was, that was a pile of dirty rags! I see. <laughs> Thanks, Mew. I see, so this ended up happening after all. Okay, hey, hey, my, my, what a world this is. So full of jokes like this. How? Well, what? This is I, right? My dearest Rantaro is dead. Dearest Rantaro? Why are you sweating cum? Oh, I mean, <laughs> was killed. That's not suspicious. That's the same thing. <laughs> How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. Oh well, I'm gonna go make a crab daddy. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? Mm -hmm. Nah, an explanation. I can't speak. An explanation isn't necessary. Thanks for the first blood perk. There won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. With that said, if you're the black and who killed Rantaro, raise your hands! What? The one who killed Rantaro? Degenerate male! I knew it! A degenerate male killed Rantaro! What did it he? Wait! How do you know, how do you know bored through it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. You know, except for, uh... What's her name? Genocide... Jill? Is that it? Toko's alter ego. 
uh, who killed many, many people in very gruesome ways. Damn. <laughs> that dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? What? The fuck are you talking about? Don't screw around. Who the hell did it? I'll friggin' punch you into orbit. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating costume with more farewells. So are we not gonna know who did it? It's getting interesting! We're singing Muff with hostility like a bunch of kitty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine! But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the exocells. How gory! Oh, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look at the nasty dead body. <laughs> ew, ew. Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding in every now and then, but funerals are insane, like fishing, like dynam or with dynamite. So... So whoever did this really gets it to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. How rude. My heart's racing. Then congratulations, when the black and who's about to graduate, please raise their hand. What? What? No one's raising their hand? Did Rancar Rantaro kill himself? Or is it just like a freak accident? Did he try to get a book off a shelf and I assume like a bowling ball you fell bastards. on his head? Hey, did you hear me? All the black and has to do to graduate is speak up, you know. Da, da, da. Huh? Hmm? No one's stepping forward? What's going on? Uh, what's going on is I'm gonna save. <laughs> oh, 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 I see how it is. The Blacken has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Very well then. I will give the black and what they want and hold a class trial. Oh. Wow! It's getting interesting! Now this is a spicy twist. Hold on! Wait, what the heck's going on? Got what? it! Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rantaro's killer. So... Get it right in, the only black and will be and only the black and will be punished. What if you get it wrong? <laughs> Simultaneous surgery! Brain and me, the brain surgery again. Or then brain surgery again. My heart's racing. Everyone besides the black and will be punished. Uh, everyone besides the black and everyone. This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Wait a second. I just remembered. I'm the culprit. I killed Rantaro. But before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves, too? Hmm? Of course, the investigation is what makes this killing game so good. You guys investigate the, this crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> the Black and Tandy work has made this much more entertaining than I expected. <laughs> Alright, the trial will begin soon, so please get the investigation on your all. So long, farewell! So long, farewell. Alright! Let's get going then. Okay, well he did it. Wait! What? What? Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantar's death, right? But if we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I, I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live at least. Uh, uh... Yeah, 
I'm just a cute normal girl who can use magic, you know. Why you? You're the last person who should be calling yourself Kit. Ben. Do not afraid. Just imagine this as someone getting out of a police drama or a detective manga. Do you agree? Right, as Uh, okay. Right. Impossible! I'm in trouble. I've never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. You know, because this is so much like that. Because this is a murder and nothing in police dramas are fake. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We all, we need only converse with the corpse. What? A corpse is not simply a dead person, and that is just an assumption made by the living. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Wonderful. Yes, by coming face to face with the corpse, you will be you will learn a great many things. <laughs> Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? I'm the ultimate necrophiliac. Actually... But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm... The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Yeah, you know, maybe for Don't screw some around. of us. Others are really stupid. Like, uh, what's his face? Kokichi. That's not the problem here. On your knees! Uh, who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you? Uh... Me, 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 my, me, mo. Who's the killer? Only a two I knows. Weird! You know if I'm choose that way! How exciting! <laughs> I'm competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. I hate this guy. That's wrong! Wait, wait, stop! We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um. For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Huh? Hey! If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. N no, it's completely different from what Wamakuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Wait, we trust each other? That's news to me! Hmm. Well, did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're just so direct and assertive. I'm smiling, even though we're... Well, I guess not really friends. We knew him for, what, maybe a day or two? Uh, um... Someone we once knew is now dead. Well, yeah, no, I just said what's on my mind. Yeah. Oh, I say what's on my mind all the time. Use boobs! Fuck. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree with Shuichi. Actually, you just said exactly what I was gonna say. Sure, buddy, sure. <laughs> Give me a hug, Shuichi. Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Okay, sure. A lot of gold time. Gonta not smart! Me too, Gonta. Me too. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone! I... I will look hard with the Tua's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. I love Angie. She's just... just in, in my mind, she's just super high. So she has no idea what's going on. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give it to pay or annoy up. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. You could leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Sure. Dot dot dot. 
Phew, I'm glad no one's given up yet. Red Toro's just in the corner like, I'm sleepy. Give me five more minutes. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Frantoro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Well then. So, let's get started. I guess. We need to do this so poor Rantara won't have any regrets, and so we can survive. Mainly the second one. Okay. I don't really feel like dying right now. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Shuichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Oh, hey, what's up? Hmm. Mm, this isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but... Oh, I'm glad! It's okay, at least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. Hell yeah, I am. Ah! You again? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, don't be so crude, I've kind of bring you... All a wonderful presents! Okay. This is giving me the heebie jeebies. Dun dun dun! A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Oh wait, no wrong anime, fuck. Could it be that that's not. Oops, don't say it! That's copyrighted! Oops, my bad, it's not a Kuma file. Uh, you did that on purpose, didn't you? Let me explain. The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to this blackened, because that would ruin the trials. Or point to the blackened. Let's all get along! I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? <laughs> The Monokuma foul. Like hell am I gonna believe something he made? No. Whether you believe it or not, it should still be prudent to examine its contents. No? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Okay. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim of Trantaro. He's dead. <laughs> that was so stupid. The victim is Rantaro and Mommy. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. Ultimate talent? Being dead. <laughs> ultimate dead person. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10pm. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were deducted. Oh, well that's good. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so... I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? But if Rantaro wasn't the best mind, then who is? Actually... I know it makes... it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead. Yep. That's right. No shit. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rantaro. Oh, shit! That means we fit it, figured it out. Alright, we can do the trial now. That's... Mastermind, I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Please. Hey! <clears throat> Kaede, please explain what is going on and where spare us an idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, I will. Shuichi and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of a mass mind hiding among us. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Ba -da -dum. <laughs> about the trap we, we had set in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check. And that someone was Rantaro, because he died. And Rantaro, and discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you had to, you two had planned such a thing. Yeah. So you use those cameras I modified for this bullshit? But you know. But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? <laughs> Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, that's right. But... Well, if you all have us, won't this case be solved really easily? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! You did it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I have some theories. Theory one. It was Mew, which I hope is not the case because I like Mew, uh, because she modified the cameras and therefore she could like suck with them. Uh, theory two: Rentaro just like killed himself. That's it. Theory three, um, and this would be—I don't think this is the most unlikely one, but it would be crazy if they did. It was Shuichi. Because he set all of this up. And maybe he had no fucking idea what to do next. So he was like, you know what, screw it. Let's uh, let's kill someone. Stop the timer. Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. <sighs> but I don't think they'd go with that route. The culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then? Alright, let me go get the cameras. Shuichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. Is that all right? Oh. Er, okay, I've got them. Well, it was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because, well, I really didn't want the camera to fall off, since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember, here, it's these three cameras. Yeah, no shit. Uh, um. You know, these three cameras that I taped, or that, that I had taped around the library, not the other cameras that are within the building. Now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Hello, me to perform the task. That's amazing! Wow, is there anything the Ultimate Mate can't do? Probably. <laughs> I can't swim, or count the five. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, then just leave it to me. Huh? Huh? I'll do it. I'll develop the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it will be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't butt into our... But she ignored my objection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. Go! <laughs> I am a strong sen... Er, wrong voice. I am a strong sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Hey, give those back! Leave it to me! No need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Just a bunch of, like, dick pics. Wait! Give the cameras back! It was pointless to yell at her. Monofanny was left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! Ah, uh, there she goes. Uh, no! That was important evidence! Sorry. I'm sorry. I was being careless. Like, holding the cameras. What? Um... That's probably okay. She says she didn't follow photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said that she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Hey! <laughs> it's like we've got no choice but to believe that. <laughs> Cause Atua is watching over us. It's important to believe. A Tuan only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up. Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We have, we just have to be patient. No. 
That's not at all. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Can someone clean up Rantaro's body? Hey. Ah, Kaede. I have a proposal for you. Huh? You're proposing to me? Please don't. Is that all right? I'd rather it be Gonta or Mew. If it's all right with you, could we keep working together during the trial like we're doing now? Huh? Shuichi? No! I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. You know, because I've stated multiple times how much I love being a detective and want to be a detective. And have had no reservations at all about being a detective. No, I... I want to help you. Shuichi? Of course! With you on my side, it would be having a hundred people! It would be like having a hundred people helping me! Thank you. Thank you, Kanye Just promise me to get rid of that stupid fucking hat of yours! Hey, Joe, I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually... You don't take anything seriously. It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Well... In other words... If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Uh huh? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> if we... If each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I do not in any intent to offer a suggestion that with further paralysis station, but logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Karumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the masked mind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Oh, what the fuck was that flash? I hate that. My eyes. What the fuck? That text did not look. Like... That was weird. All right, let's look around. That that's. I keep doing the wrong scroll. Near the body. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we don't. I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantaro's body? Uh, um. Yes. If we want to find clues, we have to. Garsh, but if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. Oh my gosh! This schlong is huge! My mind was set and I was started to walk. And I started to walk. Fuck! And I started to walk toward Rantara's body. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. And now he's not. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And if there's no trace of his body being moved, or and there's no trace of his body being moved, it doesn't add up. Why are you always, like, talking into your hand? Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. Paler than me. Although, I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body, after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but we- But also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm... I am sort of a detective, after all. Jeez. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? What up, what up, what up, uh, someone's dead! Uh, okay. That's right. Okay, Rantaro's body. He looks so peaceful. Hmm. He's, he's like, I'm so sweepy. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. Hmm. 
There's blood on the back of its head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma fight was accurate. Well, this must be the fatal wounds. Um... So, we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes, for now. Come on. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? Oh no. Someone is playing Rust. Better blur their username. Wait, what are you doing? I'm feeling for his junk. Uh, um... I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. Oh, he has an extra large condom. I wish this would fit me. If you're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much good providence? Come on, Kayete, pull yourself together. Hmm. Red Taro had in his possession the keys to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um. And why would he have a different model than us? He didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Wait, what? Did I misread that? Uh, yeah, I guess not. Okay, I'm good. Oh, right, the card key for the for the secret door. Then Rentaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So it's what we know now. Oh, that is his. That is the most plus, most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Maybe he was the mastermind and when he got hit in the head with the thing, he like quickly closed the door, hit the card key, and like stu oh no, because the because it said he died instantly. Never mind. Don't listen to me. All right. What else we got? Rantara's body. Uh, a bloody shot put ball. Oh, a shot put. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be? This shot put ball, could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You won't have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Alright, well, we know a few people who are fairly strong. One of them is Gonta, which I hope that's not are the you case. Because okay? I love Gonta. Quiet, are you okay? We finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Something is bothering me. Why did Rantoro come to the library? <laughs> it seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason do they have for coming here? Uh, I mean, to read? I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rantoro mentioned earlier. I like reading. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. He was so fucking cool. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, um. He may have come to the con same conclusion we did that the mastermind would come here. Um. You mean he had the same idea as us? N no way. He should have told us. Uh. We could have worked together. I collapsed on the floor, crushing by the weight, crushed by the weight of my frustration. Kind of like how the shot put ball crushed Red Toro's skull. No. No, he probably couldn't risk killing us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kayede, but Red Toro didn't have anyone that you could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between him and me, or me and him. As he said that, he, or as he said that, he offered me a hand, Red Toro's hand. He broke it off. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember. Quiet, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? 
you're going to save everyone. Yeah. Well, maybe like half of us. Everyone is is a very strong uh, uh, expectation. I don't know if strong or Shuichi. I don't know if strong is the right word. Maybe high, too high of an expectation to have. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Well, Shuichi's right. If we can't get, we can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Okay. Uh, what else is there to check out? Moving to monitor. The time limit to start the killing game had almost expired. Well, then the countdown stopped, and that noxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. We all would have died, probably. What is Sumu you have to say? I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. That's terrible! He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't yeah, it was no Debussy, that's for sure. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Okay. Uh, Mew, what do you have to say? Crotchy skank! Don't talk to me, crotch itch. I'm fucking busy. Hey, who told you I was itching my crotch? Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun dun dun! It's a prone! Um. Prone! Um. I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but. Don't you mean drone? Actually... If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Ganglion Alliance to destroy humanity. I don't know what that is, but okay. I have no idea what she's talking about! Then... Well, wait a second. The controller is... <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese! She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Ha! Oh. From the latest creation from okay. the gorgeous girl genius, Mia Libruma! Ayane's hand looks really huge. It's weird. Uh, anyways. It's a drone. A drone? I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't know what a drone is either, but I don't okay. Get it. Me too. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. It's pretty sick. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, aerial? I'll like the Little Mermaid? A reference to draft a floor plan to help the you took a bunch of photos of the Little Mermaid? This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Good for you. Drafting a floor plan with photos? Hmm. Well, that's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I can't do shit about that, so just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Oh, jeez! Sh shut up, you! My chest is way better than your nasty cow others! <laughs> I mean, your boobs are pretty nice. Can I squeeze? Ooh woo! Just like the fucking, uh, like, finger point anime thing. You know what I'm talking about? When you, like, touch their fingers together. What did I do? Udders! Udders! Actually, they're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Alright, well that served no port, no, no, no purpose. I also got around here. Moving the pace. 
The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of view or currently out of sight. By the way, you guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Why? Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you remove it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Yeah, so I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind would still be inside, but I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Receiver on Shuichi. Alright, what else we got? Uh... Rumi? Do you have anything important to say? But... Why did the call put it not to the floor and infer take advantage of the first Lord perk? Huh? What? Then... The couple must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they went out to step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. Well, I could think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is... The culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? <laughs> everyone? That is correct. But I'm part of everyone! That would, forgo, that would explain why they would forgo their survival in favor of a class of trial. Um... But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly possible. Yeah. Ooh, well, true! Killing us does seem like something the mastermind would do! <sighs> so we cannot lose the fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Alright, that wasn't very important. Shuichi! Um... Hey, Koyede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Come! Um... We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm... No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm... Well, actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi, move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door! Close automatically behind you. And that would make sense. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, I look over the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, uh. oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. I mean, it doesn't have to. There probably could have been, like, a mechanism or a button on the inside of the hidden room that closed the bookcase, but, I mean, this works too. But wait! Why are we zooming in so dramatically? What the fuck? But wait! If the bookcase closed itself after you enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was heading just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card re reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase once again to reveal the hidden door once more. We get this, like, really loud, obnoxious noise each time it happens. Then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap in the, of the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. Looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? How? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. The list hasn't been moved at all. Wait, how do you remember exactly where you put dust? Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um... So if they opened the door, quickly put dust on it while the door was still open and ran through? Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rantaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Card reader dust. I see. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. 
So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. Okay, what else we got? Uh, moving ladder. Moving ladder, I used to reorganize the folks on top of the bookcases. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay. Um. It's probably nothing but the globe. It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with this incident. Okay, Ryoma, do you have anything interesting to say? Hmm. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes in the carpet, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too! Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Look. Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. <laughs> but, with, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? And let me just warn you, the way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Okay. Uh, can we feel like I'm missing something? Okay, fine. Look at the bookcase. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Hmm. Doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, books you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Okay, is that everything? Leave now? Nope. Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Double doors. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this way before we discovered Rantaro's body. Hmm. We ran Toro into the library. We entered the library through, through here with Kaido and Tinko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close and then when we ran over. That's true. We found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's. When we see the pictures after the monocubs develop them, that will be clear. Aww. I guess all we can do is wait! Uh... Oh, the vent. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the crate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom. This vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Yeah. Or through there. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Rear sliding door. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs that leads and it leads to the hallway. <sighs> By the way, this is a sliding door, see? It opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. That's that's how that works, yep. That's what a sliding door does. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um... I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the monocubs. You're right. I just have to wait. Alright. Um... Kaide, I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um... But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... Uh, but then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Hmm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? The other mm -hmm. six? The six people that went down to the basement went for Rantaro! Who ran to the basement with Rantaro? Kaido, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko! Let's go talk to them first! Hmm. They should have been in the- oops. Wait, what the fuck? What is this? What was that? Let's do that again. How did I do that? 
Okay. Well, I guess that's not happening. They should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Can I do that again? Please? Yeah. Nope, nope, I guess not. I also accidentally skipped the dialogue. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. Check the controls. Maybe that shows something. Uh, react. Right. Okay, it's not doing anything. So I guess I just won't. Okay, let's go find them. I'm gonna keep trying that though. For now, let's head to the game room. Yes. I want to leave. I want to leave. Uh, game room is this way. Alright. Well, only Maki is in here. As well, I got some coins. I guess you can't really get coins in this room. That's late. Okay, fine. Let's just talk to Maki. Hello. Um, Maki, you were in the game room when Nitaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you doing down here? Or what were you all doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Hey. And I suspect. Uh, oh no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. I don't trust Maki. Huh? But then again, I didn't really trust Sonya in the second game, and apparently she was fine. Huh? Because... Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So trust no one, Kayede, or you'll lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all! She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But... But why were you here all... Why were you all here in the first place? <sighs> it was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. <sighs> Seven. Seven people! Kaido, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Ranter. Why Angie? Has she done anything that would make her seem like she would be good in a fight? Hmm. But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful. Er, but, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. I see. I don't thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. Oh, okay. The connection to Atua, huh? who apparently just does nothing but watch. What about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. I can see it. That's it? Gee, that does sound like something Kaido would do, though. But... But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. In the game room in the basement, and then... In the school, in the cage, in the world that we're trapped in. Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured out it would be figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence. Uh, um. And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was at first, but then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaido and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... This time! Huh? What are you guys doing here? Er, uh, huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join us. You should join a strategy meeting. Because I definitely think both of you could fight. Kaede is definitely welcome to join! Um... Did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Huh? 
Konto wasn't with you guys. <sighs> Konto did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself. Ew. This is just behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um. What other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Okay. The other two being Tanko and Anchi, maybe. Or Tanko Shuichi. and Kimiko. Ta ta definitely Tanko. Tanko seems like the type of person who would suspect Golta is something because she hates men. Hey, Shuichi! The AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Quite a. Have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go! I also just realized we never did go to our own room. Oh wow, Tanko's not in there. Okay. Wait! Guess I was wrong. We never went to, um, uh, uh, what's that place? The fucking piano room. They were like, check out your, your ultimate study room. And we just did it. What? Going to not murder anyone? Come on, man. I told you. We're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, all right. He's got the face of a killer. No way! He really doesn't. He's got the face of... I don't know. Gonta? No, no! No judge Gonta by his outside. On inside, Gonta gentleman. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kayede. We're just trying to ask him... <sighs> yeah, just tell us why... While we're still asking nicely. Or you are... Are you not the culprit? He already said he yeah. wasn't. Or are you not the carp? Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Huh? Don't a not not not. <sighs> it's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. Hmm. And I'll change the question. Kimmy buys five strawberries for fifty cents each and one apple. What? <laughs> That's totally off topic, Kimiko. Do your own math homework. You caught me. You know? Hey, Gonta! I talked to Maki earlier. We, you were in the basement, our AV room alone this whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not much. He, look, but Gonta think he not pay much help, cause he not smart. Bugs are. So Gonta and you alone watching bug movie. Huh? Hell yeah. Bugs life. Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie for Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But you know. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Huh? Gonta not can become girl, Gonta. Then Gonta never become gentleman. He has to become gentlewoman! Jeez. Kimiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that alright? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta just need fo- uh, Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. Gonta was tricking off the bug movie. I mean, what? <laughs> that, that ain't really. Gonta want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa! G calm down, you're making a really scary face. How can this be? Because Gonta feels so useless! Oh, poor Gonta. I mean, after hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Did he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Quiet, a. let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right! To verify Gonta's a little bit. Alright, what do we got in here? Video rack? Hmm, there's a lot of porn! There are a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh. Oh, The Legend of 1900! I've always wanted to see this film! I'm so happy! That's. The one with the pianist has. that has eyes like a dead fish, right? I don't know, I've never heard of it. Huh? The film won, this film won awards for its phenomenal music! U.S. audiences were moved to tears. What? What is it called? I always forget. 
I already forgot. Legend of 1900. Is that a real movie? I don't know. Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Huh? Okay. What else do they have here? Hmm, a lot of porn. I got a movie at random and the case had a covered was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Oh, I was right. It's porn. Um Find any movies over there! Oh well, nothing special's over here! Let's go look somewhere else! I'm gonna save this one for later. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? Can I click What's please? wrong? Oh, I said there's nothing! There's nothing here but a bunch of mo movies! I mean movies! Wait! I mean cocks! Fuck! Clayton, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me look. Ah, uh, jeez! No, 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 don't come over here! Couple minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with B-red faces. Oh man, you caught me looking up. Right. Cover to a porno. What? I told you. Sorry. L let's investigate something else. All right. That was completely useless. I feel like this game is somehow hornier than the other two. I'm not saying something, because they really amped up the horniness with, uh, what's her face? Uh, the nurse girl. What's her name? I don't remember. When the time limit was almost up, very loud and eerie music started playing from this monitor. But when the countdown stopped, that obnoxious noise stopped too. I wonder what would have happened if- Oh, wait. You did this before. Screen. There's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pole of sorts. Why would you uh, need to? Hmm? So what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say weird things, Chuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, you think so? so sorry. Uh, sorry you can't treat it. Uh, fuck. Sorry, you can treat it as me talking to myself. Okay. Um... Poster bucket. Ooh, we leveled up. There are some posters rolled up with rubber bands in a cylindrical bucket. Um... Is this a movie poster? They're all the same, too. I took a poster out and unrolled it. Ultra to Spare Girls 2, coming soon! Oh, that's like the spin-off game, right? Looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before! Hmm... High School Girl with a Megaphone and a Serial Killer sounds like some lame spin-off. Uh, yeah, I know, I didn't play the first Ultra to Spare Girls, my bad. Is this one of Monokuma's pranks? Yeah, probably. Some random in-game meta reference. A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside, though. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. Okay, fine. I bet this huge speaker produces some high-quality sound, but that's not relevant now. Okay, fine. Let's just talk to Gonta. Gonta! Uh... Gonta watching Fire Murphy to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need to focus to fill up with fight, so Gonta lock door. Mm. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Huh? Oh, but Gonta naked in public, the Gonta never become gentlemen. Ah, oh, jeez. Himigo, shut up. Stop saying ridiculous things. Honest. Gonta just wants to protect everyone, really. Why? Why no one believe Gonta? Gonta feels so pathetic. Sorry, Gonta. Uh, okay, what else is there? Another video rack. We're just gonna talk about porn again. I just forget this ever happened to move on. Yeah, okay. Stuck. Tick. Dido. Damn. Gee, I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Hey. Dido, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? 
what? Am I one of your suspects now? Um... Ah, uh, yes! No, um, that's not what I'm... Nah. Nah, it's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course! But I'm not the culprit, I swear it on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Then... Oh, okay! I accidentally skipped that, but all I said was okay, so it doesn't matter. Well, now that we have the chance, let's look at, back at the entire incident together. Kaido went to the screen with us, or to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something he wit we missed. Got it. All right then, which, where should we start? Hmm. After Kaido and I set up the cameras, we were keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey. When did you start asking people to go with you? So. I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one, and we all went to there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. You, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rikaro. You know... Now that I think about it, the monitors started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um... I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting, and no one went to the library, right? Ah. Yeah, we went straight to the game room, but right after we went inside, Gonta went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know... However, I can't guarantee that Gonta was in the, uh, was in here the whole time. I see. I see, so we can't confirm Gonta's alibi yet. Hey! The library's near rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rontaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Hmm. hmm, we didn't learn any new information though. Come on, man. So I'm not cleared of suspicion yet, huh? No. Well, don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. You're too much of a dumbass. Hey, that's not something a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate till you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have died for no reason. Rantaro did die for no reason. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Shuichi? Yeah. But anyway, if you notice something or, any, or remember anything, let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. By just standing here. Okay. Um. There's not much else in here, is there? Other than Himiko? I highly doubt she'll say anything important. The culprit is definitely going to. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really? Even so, it's definitely going to. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Hmm. Um, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. Investigating is a pain. Don't be suspicious no matter how you look at it. Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Jeez. Then stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. Fucking bitch. I'm just kidding. I love Himiko. She's just, she's just like a fucking child. She's just kind of there. She has no idea what's going on. That sliding door. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Oh, there are two doors. Okay, I didn't notice that at first. I thought there was only the one door, so Gonta could have left. Um, is this connected to the hallway? You're right. Well, it seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to pull it open. I tried to open it, but... Good chunk. Huh? Oh, that's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um... 
Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Okay, hmm. take that back. Gonja couldn't leave. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose that's not possible to use the door. No. No, no, if it's gone, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. Why? Oh. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manual cover. Alright, he is that's pretty right. strong. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Go to <laughs> never do that! Why would he, like, close it again? Gone to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. Well, I agree. All right, huh? glad we're on the same page. Huh? You think Gonta could eat this door? No. Uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. I also agree that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. This sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Hmm. So then, he just forced his way through the gap. That's a small-ass gap for someone like Gonta to fit through. Hmm. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball bat, or a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well, if it were thin enough. It's magic. So then he probably used magic that makes you stim and keeps the fat off. Wait! Counter no can use magic! Okay! Oh, I can use magic. I did it. I forgot. At least you never have anything important to say. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Mostly, just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try sliding, try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap in the sliding door, he muttered, I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, hmm? so what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning? Now... Yeah. I guess we just mm. won't know. I think we've investigated everything here, too. Mm-hmm. And what should we do next? Hey! For now, let's ask the others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked to. Aww. This would be done if that... If... This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We don't really know who the mastermind is. Mm. Well, that's true, but we shouldn't wait around to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Where to now? Yes. Let's leave. Next time on Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Alright. Um. Tenko. What up?